As per usual, the first 50 seconds are completely autonomous and pre-programmed. 76-17, that's the Robo Blazers correctly leaving their taped off area, scoring movement points alone and looking to get in a level configuration. Blue Lions speedily matching the Red Alliance's movements. 34-26, that's the Galactech able to match the Red Alliance. Scores are pretty tied as we move into the tele-operated or human-controlled period. 30 to 26 with over two minutes remaining in the match to change those scores and the outcome. 67-21, that's the Toonley Trailblazers reaching their mechanism towards the cone in the human player station on the audience right side. Just behind them, Cyber Blue quickly making use of the cones and cubes already out on the field, quickly delivering them to the bottom part of the grid to score two points for their alliance. 5188, that's classified robotics, quickly grabbing a cube just short of it for that time, but their human player quickly reloading it in their human player station. 5402, that's rec robotics, I believe, dropping a cone as they were exiting that area, but they're able to quickly go back and grab another one. Remember, it's two points for the bottom part of the grid, three for the center, and five for the top row. So we'll see a lot of teams, if able, filling up that top row first to maximize the amount of points they can gain for their alliance. Just over a minute remaining in the match. 234, that's Cyber Blue making quick work delivering a cone to the bottom part of their grid station. Checking in on the links, Blue Alliance with one link for their alliance and red with zero. Both reaching that gracious professional and threshold, lowering the amount needed for rank points. Now only four links needed. Seventy-one, seventy-six. Row Blazers, a well performer in last year's game, showing off their robot and skills during this match, keeping it a tight, close score between the two alliance years. We have lots of high-ranking teams this match, so we'll see plenty of movement as we get into the end game. Last 30 seconds, we'll start to see robots migrate towards those charge stations. They can get points for contacting it alone, but ideally they're running in that level configuration, also known as engaged. Red Alliance lining up to get all three robots on there. I believe that's 10 points per robot if they're able to successfully balance. Tinley Trailblazers might be sitting out, making sure they can score the points for the Alliance, not tipping it away in their favor. Blue Alliance, in the last few seconds, trying to get level. Two robots up for each Alliance. We'll have to see how the scores total up. And here are your scores, qualification to match 10. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. Taking a score of 86 to Red Alliance is 92. Both teams getting ranking points. The Blue with three, allowing their members to climb in the rankings as we head into our next match.